Alrighty, what's going on YouTube? Uh, I'm sorry for the slight delay, but I have been working on some very good stuff. That it, that it is worth it. I have fulfilled one request, uh, two, two, maybe three requests. I don't know. We'll we'll see. Um, if I have fulfilled your request, I know I've fulfilled one. If I've fulfilled your request unintentionally, please tell me, so that way, uh, I I can uh. You know, hopefully get some good feedback from you, or, or you know, if it was something you want me to do, please give me your feedback. Uh, anyways, if it wasn't something you were wanting me to do, I would still like feedback just to see how I did on this video. So today we're going to be focusing on. It's a little bit across the board uh, altogether, but it is uh, some good stuff that makes visually and uh, and this one person just wanted to know how to do this. But uh, visually, our our first person mode look better, and our zooming look better. The other thing that just someone wanted was double jumping, and I also wanted to fix the jump height because I felt like it was too anti gravity. We didn't we we went up kind of slow, we jumped kind of slow, and then we jumped way too high. So here's what I've made it. So you can you can that's about the normal jump. That's the jump acceleration, and uh, you know how how long you can hold it. And if you want to double jump, you can. So I'm going to show how to do all this, and here's the brand new zooming, which looks much, much better, and I'll show how to do this, including files, because this is very difficult based off of just the data values that I'm giving you. Um, and uh, so yeah, let's, um, let's get right into this. And of course, I, I fixed the clipping of the first-person rifle in first-person mode. Um, third person is still the same i'm still working on eh, I, I may still be working on that but we'll uh we'll die and we'll um we'll start up how to do all of this so uh first things first um i just wanted to get double jumping out of the way because that is uh, a, a request and so here's how we're going to do it first thing we're going to get a variable and we're going to name it jump c and we're going to make it an integer so make sure you do that. And jump C stands for the jump count, so how many times we've jumped. So on our jump action input, we're going to drag that out, and we're going to drag out a branch. Now don't do anything with this branch quite yet. But off, off of true, we're going to drag out, set our jump C, and then we're going to connect it to our jump that's already there. The stop jumping we can just get out of the way because that's honestly nothing that really needs to be there, that, uh, that needs to be edited. So on our condition, we're going to drag this off and get that button. If you don't know how to do that, it's shift comma. And we'll get that button. We'll do integer uh, less than integer. So we're going to see if our jump C is less than 2. Um, if it's less than 2, we're going to set the jump C to 1 more than what it's already at. The default will always be 0 because we'll always be landed unless of course we're jumping but when we are landed we will again be set to zero this pretty much is how many times you can jump so if we wanted to jump five times just set that to five and you can jump five times if you really want no limit on to how you can jump just spam the nine key and I think that'll be pretty good now how I've gotten the gravity on the other hand to where it's at that's a little bit of a different thing there's two places we're going to have to go. Number one is going to be our class defaults. <clears throat> now, in our class defaults, uh, oh, my friend. Um, on our class defaults, we're going to go scroll down, and there will be under character jump max hold time. Pretty much, if you, uh, doesn't, uh, if you can't understand the max time the jump key can be held, there's really no better way to put that. That's just saying how, how many seconds you can hold down the jump key before it uh, automatically stops jumping. So for a more realistic, in my opinion, jump, you could do 25, 0.25 seconds. Uh, less realistic, if you wanted a little bit more anti-gravity, uh, you could play around from anywhere to 0.5 to 1. That's some pretty good anti-gravity. If you want halo kind of anti-gravity kind of jump, the first halo, um, I would definitely say about 75 um, or maybe even one. Just play around with it, and that's definitely what you were looking for. But actually, that's all we need in our class defaults. Now we're going to move over to our character movement. Now, you can mess around with this, but I set the jump velocity 
to 500. Now this can be a couple things. This is also included with how quickly this uh, has to do, you have to fiddle with both this and our jump max hold time. Because this is how quickly you jump, but you can also just tap the space button, even if you have uh, your max jump time on like 5, you can just tap the space button and it will only go up as high as uh, um, as the jump, Z, the jump uh, acceleration wants you to go for that amount of time. So if I just press and hold it for uh, the maximum time of 2 seconds, we're going to go at the Z velocity, in-game Z velocity, which is 500 centimeters per second upwards. So you can play around with that based on, of course, what your what how fast you want to go up, and uh, if you want a little bit more anti gravity, you could you might want to crank that down and crank up the um, um uh, excuse me crank up the max uh, hold time for the jump. So that's one thing that you will want, and then I believe there was one other thing. Oh, I know that was it. That was it. But that's that's what you're gonna want for the jumping. So that's how we got that realistic, um, uh, mildly realistic. I'm not saying oh that's how everyone jumps, um, but I mean for a, for a a hero character, I mean that's that's kind of high, but it's not like I mean I think most everyone could make a little jump like that. But um, not like that, or and definitely not like a little double jump. <laughs> so uh, yeah, so that's how you that's how you would do that. So the other thing is people want. Um, I have had uh some people message me privately. Hey, have you fixed? Can you fix that uh um uh, uh the clipping for the weapon? Cause the the weapon uh was clipping into our camera, and we could see through our weapon and through the model it was the model was clipping through our camera and so i fixed that and really all i did was did a little bit of positioning and i believe i made the camera perspective um yes it's perspective and 90 so um once again i will pretty much just i won't include the entire game file i will just include bro, our, my bro dude because this is all that i have edited and this is all that you'll need for everything that i'm doing here but honestly um you can just drag this in to your um to your current project and replace it with the one that you have if you would like as far as I'm concerned, it should transfer all the nodes and everything over just fine, um, unless you have changed some stuff file-wise uh, and have it different than mine. If you have it different than mine, you you may have to reconnect some nodes and may have a little bit of trouble. Um, uh, so yeah, if it causes too much trouble for too many people, then I will just zip the whole game file. But be warned, the whole game file for this entire project is most likely well over 1.5 gigs. Regardless of that fact, that I have fixed that, um, so it looks much better, and I've added much less uh, lag to the HUD. The, the HUD lag, uh, if you were wondering, is now at 24. Um, so the higher uh, the higher you go, the the quicker it will be to follow your camera. Um, also, zero is just snapped straight to your camera, like you don't even have lag. Um, and then my zooming, I did a lot of trickery with this, um, of referencing other positions, locations, r rotations, blah, blah, blah. But I've, I now have a specific camera for our ADS. It is no longer just a little uh, in, uh, invisible object that is just an actor that we um, snap our FPS camera to. But it is actually a scaled down camera. The, the scale does matter. It's just a scaled down camera. And if you want specific locations, uh, oh, I didn't want to do that. If you want specific locations, I'll give them to you. But they are attached to the right hand socket. Rotations 0.22. Uh, rotation is X. Uh, X rotation. Let me do this right. X rotation 0.22. Y rotation 0.75. Z rotation. Uh, Nine eighty nine point thirty. Uh, location 
uh, x location, negative uh, 0.16. Y location, negative 5.37. Um, Z location, 18.01. And once again, that is just parented to my right hand socket. The field of view is automatically set to 20. You don't even need uh, any of that um, stuff that we had earlier for the setting FOV uh, for this camera because that's irrelevant since we're using a completely separate camera. So just completely set this to 20 because we're never going to need that at a normal uh, 90 FOV because all we'll ever use this camera for is zooming. Uh, you can have it in perspective or orthographic. Um, uh, personally, I feel like it looks a little bit better in orthographic because um, yeah, we could try that out if you want it. And I'm not sure if the FOV still works in ortho orthographic, but it, uh, oh, never mind. I did that the wrong way. That actually looks really weird, though. Like, oh, that looks really <laughs> weird. Um, I'll have to, I wanted to do an orthographic for a specific reason, and if I can get it working properly, I'll show you guys the reason why. Um, but I did have that working, but it it's whatever. But perspective, uh, 20, uh, field of view. So that's all you need to know about that. Um, and then if you just want the coordinates for the camera, uh, X location, 3.98. Y location, 9.82. Z location, a negative 11.12 rotation x rotation zero y rotation zero z rotation 89.99 or you could just do 90. Um, the parent socket is our head um, projection mode is of course of course perspective field view 90. Uh, so that's all you need for that stuff um, if you have problems with the hud just goof around with it if if it doesn't work i'll um once again, you can just get the package, but it all should be fine. Um, okay, so let's head over to our vent graph and look at the differences in our nodes compared to what we had before. Number one would actually be our aim down sights. Now we have it, uh, um, this actually set orthographic is uh, useless because um, of the player character manager that is completely useless. I just have left that in there because I'm lazy, too lazy to take it out. But what is necessary is we're going to need to get our camera and our ADS cam. Now, we're going to do the same activate and deactivate. For zooming, we're going to deactivate our camera, activate our ADS cam. Vice versa, deactivate our ADS cam and activate our camera. So that's all we need there for the actual aiming down sights. Um, but back here, um, really, all of this can be deleted because it, we're not messing with any of it. But um, you can, it, this doesn't really matter, but I felt like it helped just a little bit better when we were aiming down sights for the bullet to be much more in range of where it should be for the aim down sights. If you go over to our zooming and aiming, you'll see all these yellow lines if you haven't already squished them back in. But if you already know where I'm at and kind of talking about based off of the line traced by channel and the start end, we've got all this weird multiplication and addition stuff. But on these get forward vectors and get world location, that's pretty much telling it where the bullet's going to shoot to. It's kind of centering getting the center of our camera and shooting there a little bit based on and also including a little bit of the camera dra of the drag of the bullet the f all the physics and compl complicated stuff that is in the projectile and our weapon blueprint but regardless you can just drag out that ads cam and use that universally for everything that actually is really all there is but once again if you don't want this here um you can have that deleted, but I feel like it adds a little bit of effect because it's still setting it to 20 when we zoom and when we don't zoom. So that way, when you do zoom in and you zoom back out, your uh, second camera, your our, our normal FPS cam, kind of does this zoom out like we just came from that, is, is if you see what I'm talking about there. So I feel like that adds a little bit better, a little bit of an effect that wasn't there before. Now I know our HUD's popping up, but that is strictly because we have it still parented to our normal camera, and I'm 
and the reason um, that it looks like this is because it's still parented to our normal camera. And of course, why it looks like that is because it's parented to our normal camera. So I'm trying to get it to where it's no longer just parented to our camera, but every time we switch our cameras um, for zooming, um, for for third person, it de detaches uh, the the health HUD or even the spring arm, but preferably the health HUD. Uh, it could you it could do whatever, but I um think I'll see what I'm gonna do. And it takes that and reparents it, and does a proper location, whatever, uh, tra a transformation uh, within the camera. So it takes this and then reparents it to the current camera that we're using. So that way, excuse me. So that way we always have that. Um, on the other hand, I maybe even thought about doing a create widget, which may be advantageous. If we want to do different widgets instead of having to go in here and do all the transforms and make it a little bit better like what we actually visually see in the widget. But I don't know what I'm planning on doing. I'll figure it out and I'll make another episode for it. But actually, that's pretty much all we have for this episode. Um, uh, if you guys did have any questions or concerns, of course, about, hey, I don't know why this isn't working for me. Um... I don't know why these sparks aren't showing up, particles aren't showing up. Um, just, you know, any questions or suggestions even that are like, hey, you should really add this into your game. Um, totally, and I'll do my best. I know someone asked for wall running. I believe it was the same person who asked for double jump, which, um, as you can see, I got here. So I got your double jump for you. Um, but I'm working on wall running. Hey, I'm running on the wall. What you want, man? I'm doing wall running right now. <laughs> um, so uh, I'm I'm kind of working on wall running. It's a little difficult. I found I got the wall running template, um, but it's not for a current version of Unreal, and uh, it uses the old mannequin, um, whole old e hero T TPP or FPP model, or yeah, the old the old hero TPP model, uh, as you can see here. It uses that, and it's not very good. Um, I could show it to you actually right now real quick if you guys would like to see. Let me just save my game. But honestly, it is a little finicky, and it is not perfected and not worth the money to, to buy just that little uh, thing. So um, we'll, we'll set her up here, but we use asset selected my character compile it and uh, so so here it's got the wall run he goes upstairs and everything's fine I hate that parallax effect like that weird like everything's I don't know but uh, we'll kind of try to wall run it's 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 really weird I don't understand the whole system how I mean it he does even like a side wall run I mean you just saw it there for a second I don't I don't understand how how this I mean it also has to do with like how your camera is it's like really finicky and I mean there's like a sweet spot for you I mean I don't understand it um <laughs> I don't understand how it works I mean I I understand how it works yes I've looked at the blueprints I've studied it it's not like oh my gosh this makes no sense to me but he has everything collapsed, and there is a lot of stuff. I mean, a lot of stuff. Instead of just having a bunch of functions, he just has everything collapsed into their own graphs. And honestly, it is very, very strange the way it is set up. And, I mean, like I said, I understand it, and there's a lot to go through, but it is very finicky, and I don't know if I will be able to go through an entire wall running system customized based off of that one request so i'm sorry if i do end up just saying yeah i'm not doing this but as of now i have not completely f uh given up but just plan on me saying yeah i can't do this because this is very difficult in my opinion but not as of yet i have not given up but um i may be getting there uh, anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, once again, all of them likes, comments, rates, and I'll see you all you peoples in the next